Oh, uh, down smash. Not able to get the ledge guard. Oh! Once again, for the lag spike number 73 this week, starting off right away here, we got Cortex versus Castle. Castle player we've seen pretty frequently here at lag spike, playing the uh, Pyra Mithra. Likes to uh, stay in that Pyra for a pretty good chunk of the match there. And uh, Cortex, not one I'm familiar with seeing, but we're seeing the uh, Pokemon trainer. So that should be should be interesting. Pokemon trainer is a uh, character that is uh, kind of be a favorite of mine. Uh, I, I, but honestly, it's Ivysaur. Ivysaur is the favorite one. The other two, I'm like, you know, that's okay. Squirtle's kind of like Water Sheep. Charizard's a heavy. That's cool. But Ivysaur, though. Ivysaur, though. That, that's pretty wild. But enough about me gushing about uh, the best starter Pokemon. Let's uh, see what's going on here in the match. I mean, it's looking uh, pretty even so far. Looks like uh, Cortex is trying to hold on this ledge trap. Ooh, a little too hasty on that grab. Now, giving up a lot of stage control from that as well, and Castle's finding these down airs. That pirate down air, oh wow, actually just killed. I was gonna say it sets up with the spike into the up smash, but you know, sometimes it just evaporates someone, and we are seeing Castle switch into the Mithra here as the Ivysaur comes out on stock two. That uh, Pokemon trainer does get forced into a Pokemon swap when stock is taken. And uh, you know, you can use your iframes to, to swap back to the Pokemon you wanna be at, but sometimes you just wanna try to make something work with the Pokemon you're on, use this iframe to find a hit. Foresight crossing up through, but a little over aggressive on the side B, but look at all this pressure coming out from Castle on the Mithra. This is something I think they've been, uh, probably been grinding a bit recently because we haven't seen them pull out the Mithra as much until recently, but this Mithra is actually looking pretty clean now, switching to Pyra for the low recovery. Vortex just floating over, trying to find some kind of hit there, but not able to get past the defenses. Castle playing pretty safe there with the shield. Following up with the forward air to catch. Oh, just out of the way the flare was too. I thought that was going to hit ledge, but it went right over. Uh, we we're fighting fire with fire right now. Another solid forward air. And uh, so far, Castle running away with this game one. Back into the Mithra here as well. Unfortunately, catches the back end of that down smash. Cortex just throwing those smashes out, trying to catch something a little too aggressive. And Manages to find that too, finds the stock. But now uh, these two, you know, Mithra and Squirtle, both pretty quick characters here. Gonna be, remains to see who, okay, well, Castle, as I say that, gets in. Uh, quite a bit of damage racked up there with the sword, but that uh, side beat from Squirtle coming out, equalizing that real fast too. Cortex is really finding a lot of success with the Squirtle and then right into Ivysaur for the up smash for the stock too. Suddenly, this is an even game. It was looking like Castle was going to run away with it, but uh, a little bit of over-aggression there on the Mithra, and you're back to even. But now it's Charizard versus Mithra again, and Pirate does kind of slaughter these heavies. Just as I'm saying that, the forward air are going to take Cortex off the top for game one. By the way, folks, how is it going? Uh, they, I probably missed the window to remind you all about predictions, but uh, don't forget about those as the night goes on. And you can uh, put in your predictions to get channel points if you can guess right on who is going to win the game. Um, I famously lose my channel points just about every week because I have no self-control and no ability to predict a winner. But you might be luckier. So give it a shot. See if you can't get some uh, channel points out of it. And uh, also don't forget that we are running the Matcharino. Our bracket is through Matcharino this week as well. And you can hop on over to that website there with uh, explanation point bracket. We'll take you over to that site. Uh, and there's uh, ways you can donate to increase the uh, prize pool, do little uh, quests and things to increase the prize pool. So definitely swing on by there and check that out. In the meantime, while we're while you're all doing that, let's take a look at uh, what's going on here. We should have word on stage bands here in just a second. I do think, though, I got to say, it's very interesting. Castle, someone we see every week. And I feel like probably over the past maybe three or four weeks we've been seeing the mithra come out more and more uh originally first i think the first set i commentated for castle castle saved pyra the entire game like just never never swapped out now we're actually seeing mithra starts we're seeing pressure come out from mithra and damage get racked up and it's it's really it's good to see because there's a lot of there's a lot of toolkit on mithra that uh gives you options pyra doesn't have that you can really play around with 
But we are starting Pyra for this game two here. Cortex has switched over to Ridley. Now, like we were saying, Pyra does tend to match up pretty favorably into heavies, it seems like. The, her stream data is slower than Mithras, but still respectable. And her kill power is kind of ridiculous. Wow, Ridley is actually almost off the top of the screen there. Just did an up smash at like, I think that landed at like 90 something. That uh, That is some kill power, but not quite enough to kill. Even the, uh, oh, the Uppy. I used to know the names of all these moves, but I always forget them. I don't know why. Foresight through. On, this, on that forward tilt, that Ridley command grab, that is the coolest command grab in the game. Oh, Cortex, though, ultimately taking the first stock, catching Castle's Landing with an up smash. Playing patient, looking for just the right moment, but a little a little over aggressive trying to get back stage control on stock two there, and the stocks are evened up right away. Castle finding that moment in return, and now it's... Uh, you know, it's a relatively even game. Percentages are racking up quickly here. Percentages are racking up very quickly, but we've seen already on stock one how fast that can equalize. Well, hold on now. Not just percentages anymore. That's a whole stock. This is really, uh, this this match is really, uh, speeding along here. There's the Mithra, of, you, you know, taking use of that speed and just staying just out of range of Ridley, dashing in to find those grabs, punishing even the side B for the recovery. Cortex going too low with the up B there to catch the ledge. Wow, that was like, what, a minute and a half? Two minutes, maybe? For a whole game there? And that's game two as well going on.